Hello, good afternoon, everyone, and thank you very much for attending this webinar about the case study we have recently launched with our customers from Poland, Fiatur Forest, about reduce the logistic environmental impact in the Baltic Sea port of Dansk uh, using our products. My name is Andrea Manero, and I am the sales area manager for smart cities, industrial and e-health projects in northern, central and eastern Europe. Well, I have been working at Livellium for the last four years in the sales department, so I will be glad to assist you if you need to contact me for any smart city projects. At the end of the presentation, I will leave you also my contact, contact details. Now, I just want to do a few highlights about the webinar, so let me explain the structure of this presentation. First, I am going to talk about a brief overview of our smart city and smart environment devices. And after that, I will talk about the specific case study we have launched in cooperation with our customers via Tour Forest. Moreover, at the end of the session, you will also uh, feel free to ask me any questions related to this webinar. Please note that if you don't have any time to attend the webinar or if you need to log out at the middle of the session, don't worry, because in a couple of days, the complete presentation will be uploaded in the Livellium website. Lastly, as you have already noticed, let me inform you that the complete session will be in English. So please, questions during the chat should be in English as well. Thank you very much for your time and let's start. Well, before I start talking about this specific case study, I would like to introduce the devices we have available for air quality monitoring. Plug and Send Smart City Pro is the one that you can see at the left with the gray sticker and Smart Environment Pro, uh, the device at the right with the green sticker. Let's remark that all our Plug and Sends and of course these two models are IP65 enclosure, easy to install, maintain, solar powered and reprogrammable via internet. In addition, we also have a wide range of certified communication protocols available, for example, 4G, LoRaWAN, Wi-Fi, Sigfox, and also radio frequency modules as 868-900 and 802-154 communication protocols. Smart City Pro. Well, the main applications for, for this WASMO plug and sense model are noise maps monitoring, that means monitoring real time the acoustic level in the streets of a city, air quality monitoring, including sensors, uh, for example, particle matter sensors, CO, CO2, NO2, and more than 16 ambient sensors. And also this model supports ultrasound and luminosity sensors. Another device we have available for smart environment monitoring is the Plug and Sense Smart Environment Pro. This model is quite similar to the Smart City Pro, but the main difference is that this model does not support the noise sensor. This model enables the user to implement pollution, air quality, industrial, environmental or farming projects with high requirements in terms of high accuracy, reliability and measurement range as the sensors come calibrated from factory. Well, and to finalize with this device explanation, let me say that Plug and Sense allows up to six sensors to be connect connected at the same time. And the main configuration, no matter the model, always is. Uh, first, you have to choose the Plug and Sense model, including the communication protocol. Then you have to select the sensors, depending on the model. Let's say that you cannot mix and match sensors. For example, you cannot connect agriculture sensor in the in the smart city model or you cannot connect um, water sensor in the environment model so and after that you have to to select the power option so this is the main configuration for all our devices well case study let's go deep in this case study about uh, reducing logistics environmental impact by air quality monitoring in the baltic port of dense this project has been developed by one of our customers, Fiatur Forest. They are a Polish startup 
specialize in developing software solutions for the IoT. And well, the thing is that they contact with Libellium because they want an easy to deploy and off the shelf solution with calibrated sensors to controlling gas level gas levels in the area of the city of Dansk, especially in the port area. So the challenge was to monitor the impact on the environment of the noise, air pollution, and also traffic congestion parameters. But maybe you are wondering why it is necessary to monitor all these parameters. Well, let me explain to you that more than 84% of the world's trade is mobilized by maritime transport. And recent studies also state that maritime transport contributes in a 4% of the pollution with sulfur, which is a highly carcinogenic agent. The Polish government is also aware of the significance of sea transport in rural transactions. And of course, is also concerned of the different European regulations about air pollution policies. With more than 37 million tons of transshipments, the port of Dansk in Poland is one of the largest seaports in the Baltic Sea. Well, in this project, our customer, Fiat Forest, together with 15 other startups, has successfully accomplished the so-called Space Acceleration Program, which is a project that seeks the minimization of port activity impact as well as solving the problems of transportation industry players in the surrounding areas of the dance port. During the program, Fiat Forest had the opportunity to implement the F Perception project in the port of Dansk based on Libellium's technology. This project aims to localize the sources of air pollutants in the area of the port, such as the berthing of vessels, the heat and power plants, the cargo handling activities, and the surrounding industry of the racing road and railway transport. The Libellium nodes are located nearby potential sources of pollution. Then the information about gas concentration is correlated with wind direction and speed. The F perception system integrates seven WASMOT plug and sense Smart City Pro sensor nodes to measure all the following parameters air temperature, relative humidity, air pressure, ammonia, hydrogen sulfate, phosphine, wind speed, wind direction, and rainfall. How it works? The WASMOT plug and send sensor nodes gather all the information from the environment and then send it via 4G to the Meslium gateway. And then the Meslium gateway send all the information from the sensors directly to the dashboard designed by the company. Here is an example of the F Perception Fiat Forest dashboard. This software allows the immediate detection of hazardous chemical compounds polluting in the air. And also using an APP, customers of Fiat Forest can monitor the state of air pollution at a given location in real time. In addition, other feature of this software is that it compares the level of pollution with the norms and alerts if they are exceeded. Well, here you can see a couple of pictures of the real installation at the left. Well, at the left and at the right, you can see the Smart City Pro model with three sensors. Uh, the white one is the temperature, humidity and pressure sensor. And the two other ones are, are other kind of, of gas sensors. So, well, to, to summarize, this project uh, revenue is clearly divided into three different benefits. First, time savings, thanks to the faster and easier access to reliable information on actual state of air pollution parameters. Uh, also, increased safety of workers in working site area, thanks to the implementation of early pollution alert system. and. And finally, cost savings, thanks to the compliance with air pollution regulations. Finally, let me share with you the main details of the companies involved in these projects, Fiat Forest and Port of Dansk. 
you can contact them directly if you need to receive more specific information about this case study or of course you can you can also contact me so thank you very much for your time i really appreciate your assistance and also i hope you have enjoyed this session as a general introduction of this webinar now if you have any questions or do you want to contact me for pricing or for some advice please feel free to send me an email to sales at livellium.com and well feel free to ask to ask me now your questions uh, in the chat because we are now open to discussion Open to discussion. Hello, good afternoon, everyone. Do you have any questions? Carlos, uh, Andrea, do you have how much the cost? Well, if you are interested in prices, you can just uh, maybe download the catalog or you can also send me an email because price depend on the different products. So I, I don't know right now the, the final price for this specific product, but I can give you all the different prices for our devices. Can you hear me? Okay. How George sues you? Sues you? How did you decide where to position the sensors? Well, uh, let, let me inform you that we are hardware providers, okay? So we sell our products to system integrators company and engineers company. So these kind of, of, of decisions, uh, we, we don't uh, take these, these decisions, okay? So our customers are in charge of decide where to put the, the devices. Eka, how long is the project set up to live? Uh, well, our devices are easy to install. So the, the, in, the installation process is, is short. Antonio Arroyo, what is the protocol of the communication, Laura? Okay, they use 4G. For these specific projects, they use 4G, but we have available in our portfolio a wide range of, of communication protocols like LoRaWAN, Sigfox, Wi-Fi, 4G. So you you can choose between a, a, a wide range of communication protocols. Rusty Gavin, for this project, what percentage of revenue was hardware versus services? Mm. Well, maybe it's better if you can ask this question directly to the to the customer because I don't know the cost of the services of the software services. I can give you the cost for the hardware, but not for for the software platform because we we don't have our own software platform. We have different partners or different customers that develop their own solution. Carlos, Andrea, is the SIA port of Dansk a public or private institution? Mm, honestly, I am not sure. So maybe it's better if you can ask directly to the, to the police company. Yes, Carlos, I am not sure of, of this answer, honestly. Marlon Ceballos, please provide us product checklist including service fee for pollution control. Okay, so please, Marlon, send, send us an email to sales at libelium.com and then we will provide the complete uh, price catalog. Okay? Uh, 
Do you have more questions? No? Okay, so thank you very much everyone for for your time and I hope you you have enjoyed this session and for sure if, if you have any questions I I will be glad to, to answer you. So do not hesitate to, to write me to sales at libellium.com. Thank you very much. Have a nice afternoon, everyone. Bye. Hi, Jorge. Is there any Libellium hardware? Yes. You can find the, the list of our distribu of distributors in the website. Okay, so you will find the map. Just click on on the South America side and, and you will find all the complete distributors. Yes, Rusty, in a couple of days we will upload this session with the presentation in the in the Libellium website. So you will be able to download the, the PDF file. Okay. Thank you very much. Bye. Have a nice afternoon.